Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to determine the variance in math problems. Now, variance is a very important statistical concept because, by definition, the variance is equal to the standard deviation squared. So, standard deviation is a very critical part of uh, studies, and so finding the variance is just as important because the variance leads to the standard deviation. So, here are the steps on how to find it. So, first and foremost, you have to find the mean first. Remember, the mean is the average of all your data values. So that you got to do that first. The second step is you want to take every data point, every number generally, you want to subtract by the mean. Now, if you choose to take the mean and subtract by the data point, that's perfectly okay. But you, ha you definitely have to subtract the data point with the mean. So either or, but there's got to be subtraction involved. And you got to do that with every single value that you have. So depending on how large your data set is, it could take a little while. The third step is you square every value in the previous step. So remember, squaring means you have to raise every number to the second power. So that means if you're, let's just say if your mean was six and your data point was nine, nine minus six is three, you have to take that three and you have to square that number. So three squared is nine. Or hypothetically, if um, your data point was two and your mean, let's just say was five, two minus five is negative three, and you have to take negative three and square that, which will give you also coincidentally positive nine. Now, but again, depending on how many data points that you have, step three could be just as lengthy as step two. But your fourth step here is going to be a lot easier. You wanna add all the squared numbers together. Okay. So remember, all the numbers you should find in step three are going to be positive. So you're going to add all these positive numbers together. And then lastly, you want to divide by n minus 1. Now, what is n? n refers to the total number of values that you have. So if you have 12 data points, your n would be 12. Or if you have 20, then your n would be 20, and 20 minus 1 is going to be 19. But these are the steps on finding the variance, and so as long as you follow these steps, you're going to be good to go. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to determine the variance in math problems.